Okay, so far we have changed the menu bar at the top. We've put in just one of our sliders here. And I'm going to go ahead and skip the gallery and skip this middle showcase. I'm going to go down to our main content. Now your main content is usually controlled by your main page. So let's go ahead and go into our dashboard again. And the cool thing about this page has an edit button right there so I can actually edit exactly what you see here, which I really like. But let's go to the dashboard and let's assume you don't have that button. Now down in your settings, you'll have a reading area. When you go to reading, it'll say what to show. Do you want to show your latest post? Do you want to show a certain page? And nine times out of 10, you're going to want to click on a static page and then choose which page you want for your front page. And when you do this, let's open up the pages in another browser. There's usually a page that has a template that says choose me as the home page. Now, I made this site a long time ago, so I don't really remember how this one's set up. So I'm going to be learning at the same time you are. Let's go into this page and you can click over here as the parent and the default template. So the default template, sometimes in your theme, you'll have an area that says make home page or home, something like that. You also have to realize, even though this is WordPress, WordPress is just the backbone and there's many designers that they choose whatever they want to put in here. It'd be nice if there was uh, some formality and structure to it, but they're allowed to put whatever they want. Now also, a lot of them don't speak English as their first language, so you have to be creative and see what comes up here. Okay, so since this isn't on the main page, um, I'm going to assume that this designer made a custom page. So you'll either choose, for example, let's say that was free yourself. Now there would be a template here that says home. You click on it, back over in here, you choose static page, and then you would also choose free yourself not find a job for yourself so that connects the front page to free yourself and inside of here with a template front page boom you now have your front page set up however that's not how this theme works this theme does it a different way so let's go to traject which is the theme name and look at that he has an area for home page I'm saying he I'm assuming it's a, a male programmer that made all of this I'm gonna continue calling him he and now it's saying showcase columns. Show three different columns. Select the number of widget columns to use and the showcase area. Okay. And then show featured content enabled. Include featured content section on the home page. Configure the featured content area from the featured content menu. So he gives a link. I'm going to hold down control when I click on that. And then also the home page content. Does he want to show a page or a post list? And then you choose the page that you want. So you see he has this set up just a little bit different. And again, I like if everybody keeps the exact same formality, but this is very easy to understand. I can understand this really quickly. I clicked on that featured content menu. I'm gonna click here and see exactly what that says. Show featured content, use image containers, resize image. And when you first learn something, I'm gonna show you how I learn it. I really just go in here I just paste something in. I'm going to put that same slider file that I used in my last tutorial. And I'm going to tell it to go to the blogs page. And I'll call it teamwork. I have no idea what this is going to do. But instead of me, I don't want to read code. I don't want to read documents. I just want to make a site. So I save that. I go back onto this page and I refresh. And sadly, I don't see any difference. So I don't see anything going on here. So I'm going to go back over to this page, to our home page. And ultimately, I want this area here to be filled with, let's say we want a video here at the top. And then we also want a little bit of text underneath of it. I think it's always great to have a video on your website. You should always have videos, have nice, beautiful photos, have some dynamic content a video, maybe a testimonial or something, and then also some dynamic content that's automatically updated over here. When I run a hundred different websites, I don't want to have to manually go in and write each post here. I want it to dynamically pull from our members and show, look, we're a community and this website's interactive. If you come back every day, you're going to find something new. 
So over here on the left, let's go ahead and change this. And it's now saying to select the page partners. Now, I would uh, really suggest that you have a page just for your home page. So let's do that. Let's go into the pages area. And we're going to make a brand new page, add new. See if I already don't have enough. We're going to call it the home page. And then we're going to put in home content. At this point, you just want to show that you're capable of breaking the page. If you can break it, then you can fix it. And now here, that's not going to show up. I need to actually refresh this. And now the home page should show up here as an option. There we go, home. And I save. So now when we go and we refresh and we look at it, we should just see a blank page down there with home content. Perfect. That's what I want. So now that I know I can break it, now that I know I, I'm in control of this, now I'll, I'll actually start editing it. You don't want to edit on it though until you actually know that you are in control. So let's go back over here. And like I said, it's always nice to have a video or something else. I'm going to find one of our videos that we have. And the cool thing about WordPress, it's uh, it has a feature called O-Embed. O-Embed means that I can just take the link from one of our videos and paste in there and it automatically works. I don't have to do any kind of special embedding code. Not that, not that YouTube makes it hard, but are you on the move? Here we go. This one will work. And I copy the address. Now I can actually click on here and say you find your video, you take the address bar up there at the top, go back into your page and paste it right in. And I don't want the actual link in there. I want to unlink it. I just want the text. Now with this, that's going to automatically make that pop up right below it. I'm going to give a little bit of information and this is where it gets pretty fun. Uh, that is, looks like the symbol. See that symbol there? Most designers have their own little symbol for all their short codes. And it's also cool to open up their page. Let's go to traject theme forest. And let's look at what his short codes look like. Now on my page, if you install their imported code, you might have some short codes somewhere on here, but I really don't think I do. So I'm going to look at the official page and you'll learn what short codes are in just a minute. Okay. So this is the page his version of it anyway and I like his bottom look at that he has a nice picture some text to the side three buttons underneath and then a testimonial from client that scrolls through look at that that looks really cool whoops and that took us to a complete different version but still kind of the same concept at the bottom and I want to have these cool uh, short codes so look at that short codes more information let's check out what those short codes are And in scrolling through this, you should be able to find, there we go, we have two column layout, three column. This just shows a lot of the possibilities of what to make with this particular theme. A good designer will have a lot of short codes like this, and I really like the traject theme made by Parallelos because they do provide us plenty of short codes. Um, but I'm not seeing the exact thing that he has. He has a these buttons with text on top. Now another thing you can do, if you like how this is set up, you can right click and you can view the source. And I'm just going to do a find for short codes. That didn't work. Maybe for quick setup. Nope, that didn't work either. So there's just some, uh, ah, cause since I'm in theme forest, you can remove this frame. And in doing that, that takes you over to his real page. You no longer have the frame around it. Let's view this source. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And there we go, quick setup. So I know this might be confusing and all garbled to you, but worst case scenario, if you want to get somebody's source from them, this isn't illegal by any means. You're allowed to go in here and copy this out. And then you can literally just paste that into your page. And especially since you bought this from this guy, he's not going to care if you copy his content. And you go back to the visual editor and see what that looks like. Look at that. It automatically moved it over, gave you the title, 
and uh, I know I didn't get everything perfect, but WordPress is pretty dummy friendly, so if you mess up, you can always, uh, it'll always fix things for you. But I personally, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it a little bit different way. We have the YouTube video, and now we're going to go into the shortcodes here, and we're going to select a shortcode that we want. Content Layout Groups. We're going to do a three column layout and then choose insert. And that's pretty cool because it gives us three different contents. For some reason, it got rid of my YouTube video. So let's add that back in. I still have it open up here. I'm going to copy it, go right back to that, paste that in. Same like we did before, get rid of the link. And then again, don't worry about going and making this perfect. We just want to get a very very vague idea of what this wants to look like and especially if you're working for a client you just want to show them how fast you can work so we're gonna get some more lorem ipsum pop that in there instead of just words that say your content here here we go And update. Okay, we're going to refresh this. And look at that, we have a nice video. We have three pieces of text underneath of it. And it's starting to look more like what I had envisioned. Now I do want that button in there underneath. I think I want a title for each of these. And I don't want them as long. I personally feel like your length is more important than what you actually say. So give your customer an idea of how long it should be. We should only have half of that. So I can actually copy it right here. Then I can go back into my code and replace this exactly with the area that I think it should be. It's also nice to have the exact same amount of letters. Let me show you what it looks like the right way and the wrong way. There we go. Look at that. Looking really good now. Now, like I said, it's nice to have the exact same amount of uh, characters. So if I take this whole sentence out here, and then I paste uh, an extra sentence in here, and update, you might think, you know, how's that possible? How can I possibly write this, the same amount of characters on both sides? But that's what designers do. That's our job. Look at that. That now looks very sloppy. This one's short, medium, and long. It just doesn't flow for me. So make sure that when you're making a site, you really pay attention to small details like that. It might not seem like a big deal when you're writing it in here, and your eyes probably can't even fathom the right way to do it yet, but follow those rules and follow those guidelines. You get the exact same amount, and your customer and your clients will be very happy with that. And it's also nice just to learn a few basic HTML rules. Sure, WordPress helps you out here, but uh, most of the shortcodes have those brackets around them. That's not HTML code, that's specific to WordPress. Uh, we can actually go inside of the column and we can turn it into a heading. And I want to choose heading 4. Not that though, Control Z undoes it. I'm going to go above it, right above it, give a heading 4. And see how it's throwing my cursor down there? I really don't like I really don't like the the settings that it has. So I'll do it in HTML. I go over to HTML and look at that. It put the H4 in, but it put it down on the wrong line. And right here inside the HT, H4, I'm gonna say a nice title. And then I'm gonna copy that title and I'm gonna put it inside of all three of these columns. There we go. Go back to the visual, it should show up perfect for you. Again, you can always update it, go back, see what you have. Looking very good. And then I want a button down here at the bottom, some call to action. I call it a call to action because you don't want your client just to come and look at the page. You want them to buy something, sign up somewhere. So then go back here and see if there's a button on here. Buttons. Button with a link. Perfect. And you insert. 
I uh, did it again. I almost got rid of my YouTube. There it is, though. Okay, so I'm going to cut this whole button out all the way to the end. I'm going to put it at the very end inside of my column. And again, if you mess up, not a big deal. You can just save it, see what you have, and go back and do it again. For some reason, we have a number I there. Going to get rid of that. Update. And I think that's going to be the end. I think I'm pretty much set on this page. Yeah, look at that. It's starting to look really good. Now I can go back in here and I can actually clean this up, make it say what I want to. Choose the right video. This button with link, URL equals. They always put that pound sign in there. And that's just a placeholder. But if you actually want this to go somewhere, replace that with the link that you need. Target equals nothing. You can research targets. I'll have another video on that sometime. And then the button text, we're going to say Google. So that's how you change that. The text is very easy to change. You just type it in there and choose update. So there you have it. We have a video, three columns, and a button. I used uh, the O embed feature to make this happen, and I used short codes for the other three. Each short code on each page is going to be a little bit different. We also went to the actual designer's page. We stole a few of his ideas, and you're also always welcome to ask these designers. These themes are only about $40, sometimes $20 to $60, somewhere in there. and. The amount of support they provide is just incredible. I really recommend a nice designer like Parallelis. And um, that's it for the main page. Next up, we'll be working on this side column over here and making it a little bit more dynamic.